Hey Brahmas, this is Mario, one of your librarians. Welcome to part two for the tutorial for Skelly's English 101. We left off with an example of one of the research questions, the Korematsu Supreme Court decision. Now, if you recall, being that this is a historical political nature question, I had told you that these types of questions would probably be served best by database like Gale, US History and Context, Academic Search Complete, and our ebook databases. So now we're going to go to the library's website. We have our own website, library.pierscollege.edu, and this is our homepage. Right here, you can always start chatting with a librarian in the lower corners, but we're not gonna do that right now. But yeah, you're more than welcome to start a chat virtually. It's a real librarian, 24 hours, seven days a week. So the first thing I wanna show you is this tool called OneSearch. As you can see, this box in our homepage, OneSearch has a search bar, and it's a search engine that looks through all of our databases at the same time, including our ebooks and print books. Although we cannot use physical books at this moment because the whole campus is physically closed. That said, if you click on databases A through Z on the navigation on the left-hand side, you will open all of our databases in alphabetical order. So you could hypothetically click on all subjects and then scroll down for literature if you chose one of the literary research questions. And so here we sort the best databases for a literature research inquiry. But you can easily also change that to history. And right here you see Academic Search Complete once again and JSTOR and other databases that you could hypothetically use. Our two best ebook databases for academic sources is this one called Gale Central and EBSCO eBooks. Now, we're gonna go back to the homepage though because with OneSearch, you can look through all of those databases at the same time, right? So I'm, I wanna throw the widest net possible to pull in the most sources. But before I do that, I need to think about my keywords for this particular question. So we have kind of established that for sure, Korematsu and Supreme Court needs to be in my keyword strategy. So if I go back here, I can easily start Korematsu and then Supreme Court. And I had told you to put that in quotation marks to keep that as one phrase. And you don't really need to mess around with the attributes in this drop-down menu. So let's just keep it at everything and click search. So once again, OneSearch is looking through several of our databases and eBooks. So it's going to pull up a lot of results, especially if you didn't throw a lot of keywords in the search bar at the beginning. So it's really important to think about the keywords that you want to look for because the keywords really hold the power, especially when OneSearch is looking through multiple databases at the same time, right? You wanna be as specific as possible. I just started with Korematsu and Supreme Court, but I also could have added Constitution or Roosevelt or 1944, but I just felt like those two were the main ones, and I felt like I would be able to find enough information about that court decision with those two key words. So let's see. With one search, the things that I want to show you is once you get all of these results, on the left hand side, you can easily look for ebooks by clicking the box next to books on the resource type. And you can also, well, you also have to click on the online box so that OneSearch can filter for only the books that are online, which means it will show you only the ebooks 
that the peers library has access to. And then down here, I don't know that if you can see it, there's an apply filters green box in the lower left hand corner. So I'm going to do that because I only want to look at ebooks right now. So I apply those two filters. So OneSearch is going to show me all of the ebooks that contain the keywords Korematsu and Supreme Court, because I put that in quotation marks. So the thing to know is that as soon as you start seeing these results, you're going to look at the green lined that has a little link icon that reads available online. What this means is that if you click on one of these, it's going to show you the record of this ebook. And it's the record is going to show you the database that is hosting that particular ebook. So for example, this one called Judging Executive Power, 16 Supreme Court Cases That Have Shaped the American Presidency. It says available online. If you look at view online, full text availability, it has one database that's hosting this ebook. That one is ebook central. So if we were to click on this database, it's going to open it up. So one search is trying to take me now to the database that contains that particular ebook. And right now it didn't seem to log me in because maybe you forgot my password or something, but you can access all of our databases at home, off campus, wherever you are. You just have to click on them from our website or from OneSearch. And then it's going to ask you for your student ID number and the passcode is your month and date of birth, four digits, uh, your month and date without the year. So if my birthday is June 4th, your passcode would be 0604. If you have any issues with that, you can chat with a librarian and we'll fix the, the problem. Okay, so now we pulled up eBook Central, which is the database that this that contains this book. And well, there was an issue, right? Because I clicked on it and then it didn't quite open that exact eBook. So I'm going to click on it again. And I'm going to close this. And once you have opened up the record of this ebook, keep in mind that you want to be able to email this to yourself because you have identified that this could be a good source for your topic, but you want to keep track of such sources. This database doesn't have a direct way to email yourself the source. So what you would have to do is you would have to get the link to open up this record again. And for this database, you would find it shared link to book. So I would personally copy and paste this link. And I would open up an email and I would send it to myself. But before I do that, I would also get the citation for this ebook on their site book. You can easily see the MLA eighth style citation. So this is what you could use for your works cited page. If you end up actually using this source for your thesis. But we haven't even opened the book, right? So we want to click on read online. And then we are going to look for the section or the chapter or the pages that talk about the Korematsu decision. So within this book, now that we have opened it, um, I'm going to search within in this little search bar and I'm just going to type Korematsu and click search to see if they even mention this court decision. And yeah, look at that. On chapter 12, you see this purple um, rectangular. That tells me that those pages are actually mentioning the keyword Korematsu, right? And so if I open that page up, I can see, yeah, they, they dedicate all of chapter 12 to this court decision. So if I wanted to read more about this decision, this would be a great chapter to use. And maybe I want to cite this chapter, of course, for my thesis. So once again, 
I would need the link to open up this ebook once again. And then I would need the citation. And in this database, you get it through this quotation icon. And we're looking for the MLA one. And you would have to open up your own email and copy and paste those two links because this particular database doesn't have a button that directly emails you, but most of our databases do. So that is how to find eBooks. Now we could keep scrolling down and see what other great books might be that mention this particular topic, right? For example, this one, Enduring Conviction. Fred Korematsu and his quest for justice. This seems like it's specifically the whole book is about Fred Korematsu. Now I know his first name. So let me just click on the title of that ebook. Not really because I want to open it, but just because I want to show you once again how I would find another source. So as you saw, it says available online and then view online, and you can see two different databases that contain the same ebook. But below the database links, you can see the record of this book, the metadata of this ebook. And this can be useful whenever you're thinking about the keywords for your topic. So for example, under subjects, you can see that, okay, it's about Fred Korematsu as a person, Japanese Americans, 20th century law, sociology trials, civil rights, evacuation and relocation, history. Okay, so maybe I hadn't thought about civil rights as a concept for the Korematsu research question. So maybe I can go back to my notes and add that keyword because it would be great for my research, right? If I'm going to continue to find sources about this topic, I want to keep track of the best keywords or the concepts so that I can remind myself, what am I really looking for? What kind of information do I really want to find in the library's databases? So I encourage you to think about that. And also, if we go back to the first book that we opened up, in that record, if we scroll down below the database links, you can see subjects, United States Supreme Court, executive power, United States cases, constitutional law. So depending on how you want to tackle this particular topic, you could go from a very legal point of view and just investigate how this decision was constitutional, or it seems like we can also approach it from the civil rights point of view and the personal history of this person who apparently challenged the United States Supreme Court. So that's eBooks. Let's go back to OneSearch and let me deactivate the filters that I had applied. So I'm going to click X on the books. And now I'm going to show you how to use OneSearch to find other types of sources. And for academic research, in addition to books, the type of source that you're more than likely to use is journal articles or scholarly articles or peer reviewed articles. They are essentially the same thing. You can use that interchangeably. Scholarly, peer-reviewed, whenever we're talking about academic journals, there's different ways to, to talk about those sources. But in OneSearch, what you're going to do is, on the left-hand side, they actually have a filter labeled scholarly journals. So you can easily click on that square and apply that filter. And then OneSearch is going to only show you scholarly journals, actually articles from scholarly journals. So these are essays or sources that somebody has written and published 
and academic journals. But these sources are great because in terms of academic sources and credibility and authority, peer-reviewed articles are some of the best quality of information that you can find in academia because they go through a peer-reviewed process. So it's very difficult and prestigious to get published in a peer-reviewed journal. So now I'm um, seeing different results, right? I'm not seeing any eBooks. And I know that I applied the scholarly journals filter and the online. So all of these should be articles coming from academic journals. And once again, you can see the available online or link. But at this point, my job is to look through each of these titles and find the ones that seem the most relevant to my topic especially because we have close to 400 results. So let's see, um, ending the Korematsu era, an early view from the war on terror states, uh, military imperatives, Japanese Americans and the origins of strict scrutiny. Interesting. Um, also keep in mind that right underneath the title, you see the title of the journal in which that article was published. So for example, here, the journal is titled Law and Contemporary Problems. As opposed to in the third result, this article was published in Texas Law Review. So the title of the actual journal in which the article was published and can give you an idea of what kind of angle that article might be addressing the topic. Uh, let's see, Justice Jackson's Korematsu dissent. Okay, so there was a Supreme Court justice, presumably Jackson, who dissented. Um, that's interesting. So let me, or hold on, let's see this other one. A drama, dramatistic analysis of judicial discourse. Okay, that sounds interesting, right? Um, you can spend a lot of time opening up these articles and kind of skimming through them to see if they are actually going to help you with your research. So this is how research doesn't instantly gratify because it is a little messy and it can take up a lot of time digging through these sources, opening them up and actually reading a little bit of them. Uh, why isn't this opening? Okay, so once again, I'm opening the record of this article within OneSearch. So OneSearch is going to tell me where I can view this article. This is just a record of it. So as you can see here, view online, full text availability. It's apparently hosted in the database called EBSCOhost Communications and Mass Media Complete. So I'm gonna click on that link and that's going to open up the database that's hosting that article. So this is how you would use OneSearch. The OneSearch can take you to databases that you might never have thought about. For example, I did mention the database communication and mass media complete when I was recommending, you know, the databases for the political history topics, right? But the EBSCO databases are very similar to one another and Academic Search Complete is an EBSCO database, for example. So you might be familiar with this interface because the communications and mass media database is an EBSCO database. So we finally open this up. This is once again, the record of the actual article. If I wanna open up the article immediately, on the left-hand side, you'll usually see the PDF icon or a full text link. But before we open it up, let's look at the record again. So the title of the journal is Quarterly Journal of Speech. Okay. Subject terms, judicial opinions, Korematsu, attack on Pearl Harbor, Hawaii, 1941. Hmm. So in this, instance, you could think of the word judicial 
as a keyword that you might want to write in your notes because we don't know if that keyword can help us in the future. And then we hadn't really thought about Pearl Harbor, but now that it's coming up in this record, maybe we want to familiarize ourselves how Pearl Harbor related to the Korematsu decision. So the abstract is going to give you a quick summary of the article, but on the right-hand side, you see some useful buttons like the email function, which is one that you should use because once you find something good, you want to click on that email button. Our EBSCO databases have the MLA citations already selected for you by default, but you want to double check that it's giving you the MLA citation, right? And then of course you can type any email address and maybe in the subject you want to write, um, I don't know, good journal article, right? Or you can give yourself comments so that when you're looking at your sources in your inbox, you can remember, oh, why did I choose this article? What was so good about it? Um, and then you click send and you would have a PDF of that article and the citation and a link to come back to this database whenever you're ready to, to look at it further. But this database will certainly give you the PDF attachment of the article in that email. So I'm going to click on the PDF link to open up this article, which once again was published in a peer-reviewed journal or a scholarly journal. So as we're waiting for it to upload, you want to make sure before you send yourself a lot of sources to actually investigate the source because you don't want to send yourself so many sources and then you have to read them. It's easy to shop for sources and just email them to yourselves, but the hard part is you actually assessing the source to really identify if it's really going to help you because ultimately you're the one who's going to be reading through these sources so that you can cite them and use them in your writing. So now we have the, the PDF digitized version of this article. And you know, if I'm a good student, I'm probably going to skim through this article. And since it's a historical, legal type of research, I can see some headings, right? Like the judicial process. So I'm not seeing the typical science journal headings like methodology, but this is still a academic journal article. So once you identify that, okay, this article looks great. It's really going to help me with my question. Then you would email it to yourself. And once you start writing your thesis or the actual you know, writing of, of, of your paper, you're going to be able to cite this particular article as you get ideas or sentences or quotations from the text of this document. So that was just a quick overview on how you can find ebooks and journal articles using OneSearch.